if more of the people use the emergency room, or however they enter the hospital, as a result of the cuts in Medicare, will there be a provision in the law telling the hospital that they cannot shift the cost to the people who pay for health insurance as they have done in the past? Because in the past, that cost shifting raised my personal health care premiums as much as 4% as the hospital shifted the cost for people who didn't pay over to the people who were paying for health insurance. So are you covering it in this new law to make sure the hospitals will not do that to us again? Okay. Well, first of all, so that you know, the hospitals didn't do that without the approval of the legislature. I mean, they, they, make, they have to stay solvent, and therefore, they, what has happened is Medicaid has reimbursement rates. But the state of Maine, as this runaway train was growing and more and more people were getting on the, the Medicaid system, the state started reducing how much it was paying back to the hospitals, and that's how it got shifted over. But let me tell you something very interesting that many of you may not know. And this is why I believe that a lot of the emotional arguments about welfare is inappropriate. Back in 2000, there was 120,000 people in the state of Maine without insurance. In the last decade, we have gone through Derrico. We've gone through an enormous expansion, 78% expansion to Medicaid. And today, with a population that has been very stable for the last 50 years, we have 120,000 people on the What has happened in the state of Maine? As the eligibility went up, the, as you know, the, the uh, generosity of the state of 200%, more and more people realized they could qualify and they dropped their insurance and they got onto Medicaid, Medicaid's free insurance. It's, it's, a, it's a free welfare, it's a government paid, sponsored system. But you're absolutely right. To address your project, your problem directly, I am currently working with the hospital. And they have been very, very helpful. What, the, what we're going to try to do is when a person goes to the emergency room, the hospital will assign them a primary care physician. The first time, they're going to assign them a primary care physician. The second time, they're going to have to pay if they come back to the emergency room. We are trying to get people to be more responsive and go to a doctor that will cost the state $50 versus $500 or $1,500. It's many times, 80 plus percent of the time, the thing is an upset stomach, a headache, a twisted ankle, all things that a primary care physician can deal with. And now that we, most primary care physicians, or about 80% of them, have now gone to, to work for the hospitals on staff, then they have the manpower that they can assign primary care physicians. And so we are working on a program to try to do that. Mary, the commissioner, I have spoken to some of the CEOs of the hospitals that are willing to do that. The commissioner had a pilot project in I think it was named General, and it worked, it showed promise. So there's a commitment of the hospitals, I say the hospitals, commitment of some of the larger hospitals, like the, here in, in town, Portland, Bangor, Waterville, to do those type of things. And, uh, you know, we're going to do what we can to lower the cost. I don't know that not shifting some of the cost while I agree with you, I think it's not the right thing to do. The problem is, we as a society, we have to make sure our, our hospitals don't close. But on a good note, we have some insurance products that are being developed right now. 
that are going to be far less expensive for those who gave up their insurance and got out to welfare. Far, they're a lot less expensive, so it's going to be a lot more affordable, and it will not be the type where you have the 5,000 deductibles or the 10,000 deductibles. The insurance superintendent's been working with insurance companies and trying to develop a couple of new products for younger people as well as young families. So hopefully, uh, when this all settles out, we will be in, uh, in better shape if people that used to have insurance have to go back and, and buy insurance. Another serious problem, and I'm hearing it more and more, is in order to qualify for welfare, all, all they look at is your cash, how much, how much, what can you afford to pay. They don't look at your assets. And I think we need to start looking at the assets. Because we have found out that there's some people that have a lot of wealth around all of them. 